In this video today, I'll show you how I solved my permanent restriction from advertising on Facebook. Also, if you stick to the very end of this video, I'll share how I'm using another advertising platform that is producing much better results than Facebook ads right now. If you've been managing Facebook ads for a while, you probably had a moment when you had your ad account restricted or you've been permanently restricted from advertising on Facebook. I know that you're using Facebook ads to market your business online and having your ad accounts restricted all the time is not ideal. I advertised on Facebook for six years and back in 2018, it was very rare to see an ad account being restricted, but today ad accounts and personal profiles are being restricted for no specific reason. If you try to restore your advertising status, you need to talk to Facebook support and in some cases you could wait for years, but I found this solution and I'll share it in a minute. A few years ago, all my ad accounts were banned and my personal profile got restricted from advertising. Back then I was managing at least eight Facebook ad accounts, all of them with decent ad spend and pretty much in a few days all of them got restricted and my personal profile got an advertising restriction. What this means is that I was not able to advertise on Facebook. I was not able to create any ads. I was not able to create any new Facebook ad accounts and I was not able to create any new business managers. This restriction almost killed my business overnight and I didn't know what to do. So I tried using my friends and my parents' personal profiles to advertise. on Facebook, but they got restricted too. I would use my dad's personal profile, but Facebook had a way to figure out that we are somehow related, so this didn't work at all. The permanent advertising restriction is a huge, huge problem. That's why there are so many services trying to solve the restriction that many advertisers have. Now you can buy business managers, ad accounts, personal profiles. Of course, I was so desperate that I decided to give some of those services a shot and I bought a few business managers from Russian hackers. I'm not sure why the people who sell those are Russian hackers. I guess that's just a stereotype or a coincidence. I really don't know. But the first business manager I bought was created in the USA and it came with a personal profile. It was very shady because every time I used it, I had to use a non-traceable browser, I had to set up a proxy, and it was not very reliable. I had to wait 14 days for the delivery of my shady business manager, and I've spent around $1,000 on it. This worked very well for a few weeks. I was able to set up ads, I was able to run campaigns, but at the very end, this ad account got rejected. Facebook asked me to upload an ID to restore the ad account, but the ad account was created by a fake person so I didn't have any ID. I tried purchasing another personal account but the same thing happened. I ended up spending around $2,000 on fixing the issue but it didn't work at all. The money went to waste. At this moment I gave up and I found this solution by accident. I was so mad at Facebook that I decided to delete my Facebook profile and never ever use Facebook again. And this led me to the solution. Here's how I'm able to advertise on Facebook. The first thing I did was to delete my restricted profile. To be completely removed from the Facebook register, you need to wait 14 to 30 days. I'm not sure how long it takes right now, but Facebook says that after 30 days, your profile will be gone forever and you won't be able to restore it anyway. This is what Facebook says. I'm not sure if that's the case. Once I completely deleted my Facebook profile, I didn't have any profiles for at least three weeks and I felt completely disconnected from the world. I missed my social life, so I had to get back on social media. And this led me to the second step. I created a brand new Facebook profile. I used a brand new SIM card and I used a brand new phone number to create the profile. When you register a new profile, Facebook asks you to choose a phone or email address. Here it's much easier to use a phone because many shady marketers use the email address option. If you use an email that was restricted before, you might get restricted again. That's why I suggest you use your phone number. 
make sure that this phone was never used on Facebook. Create your profile in your name, but make sure you alternate your name a little bit. If your name is Jonathan Doe, you can use John Doe, so it looks different from the restricted name on Facebook. Start using Facebook like a normal person. Don't try to create ad accounts right away. Make sure you add some friends, start publishing on your wall, start engaging with Facebook. Use Facebook like a normal person for at least two weeks. Here, it would be great if you have a new phone to do that. I used my old phone, but I did a factory reset and the new SIM card was on a different carrier than my old profile. The next thing I did, I logged into Facebook using only one IP address. At the very beginning, I used to log in using only the IP address that came with my SIM card. I would use my phone as a hotspot and I would connect my laptop to my hotspot Wi-Fi. It was not very convenient, but it worked well. I did that for the first three months. Then I started connecting my phone to my Wi-Fi and so far I don't have any issues. I don't recommend you start advertising I waited around two weeks before I created a new business manager. And this will be the next step. 14 days after your personal profile is working, you need to go ahead and create a brand new business manager. When creating your business manager, make sure you provide accurate information about your business. If you live in Europe, make sure you provide your VAT details if those apply to your country and your business. Make sure you verify your business manager. It's super important to provide the country you are living in and be 100% honest with Facebook here. The next thing you must do is create a brand new Facebook ad account. I recommend you use your business manager to run ads. On Facebook, you have two options to run ads using a business ad account, but you can also run ads from automatically created personal ad account. Many people don't know that, but when your personal ad account gets restricted, you get a permanent restriction from advertising on Facebook. So when your personal profile gets restricted, you're completely banned from advertising. This is how it works. That's why when you advertise on Facebook, make sure you use business Facebook ad account never use your personal ad account. And this leads me to the next thing. You might need to create a brand new Facebook business page. The next thing you need, you need to do would be to link your business page to your Facebook business manager. If your business page was restricted from advertising, I would suggest you create a new Facebook page. Yes, if it didn't happen to you, a Facebook page could also get restricted from advertising. I know that if you have a business page, that's very popular. You have many comments and likes, but this page was restricted once before. I would not suggest to link this page to your business manager because the restricted page might compromise your whole business manager. The next thing on the list would be to use a debit credit or any payment method you've never used before. If you have a payment method that was restricted before, chances are that Facebook have the payment method blacklisted. So I suggest you create a brand new debit or credit card used only for advertising purposes on Facebook. This is really important because if you cannot make a payment to Facebook, your ad account will be disabled. Many people are not paying their bills to Facebook. So whenever you're not paying your bills, Facebook will disa disable your ad account. This is just protection news by Facebook for people who are not paying their bills. If you're one of the people who is not paying their bills, there is a high chance that you'll get restricted. Also, another super important thing here, make sure the payment method you used is issued to the business you used to advertise on Facebook. Now, you have a brand new Facebook profile, you have a brand new Facebook business manager, and you have a brand, and you have a brand new Facebook ad account. Here, I'll share some good case practices to help you keep your ad accounts compliant so you're never restricted again. When you have a brand new setup, don't start running campaigns optimized for conversions. Set a page-like campaign first. No matter what type of campaign I plan to run in the future, first I start a page-like campaign. I run these page-like campaigns for 30 to 90 days and I spend $1 per day on this page-like campaign. With the ad accounts I do that, I don't have any problems being restricted. I'm not sure why it works, but I believe that people who are legit businesses don't start with campaigns optimized for conversions right away. I might be wrong with this one, but I do it and it works great. The next thing I do, I start with a small budget. 
I don't aggressively scale campaigns at first. My main goal is to be fully compliant with Facebook. I try to keep the budget low for the first month and then slowly increase it. I don't recommend aggressively scaling the Facebook ad budget. If you're planning a big campaign, work your way to the desired budget, but I would recommend you increase the daily ad spend by 10 to 20%. If one day your daily budget is $100 and on the next day your ad spend is at $8,000, that's suspicious activity and you're risking your ad account. This leads me to my next recommendation. Don't use copy that's too aggressive. This could be a topic for another video, but don't use too aggressive copy, such as including big claims, big promises. If you include big claims, big promises, you're risking your Facebook ad account. If you use the word you way too much in your copy, you might get restricted again. Make sure you use copy that keeps people engaged. It's not about getting the conversions anymore. The conversion should come secondary to being compliant. What's the point of getting 8,000 conversions today if you're not allowed to advertise tomorrow? The next thing that's super important, then you need to do that, make sure your domains work properly. Facebook hates domain redirection. If you're using any domain redirects, I can say for sure that you have issues with your ad accounts. If you're integrating your domains with platforms like ClickFunnels, Leadpages, Kartra, make sure you don't have any URL redirects. There is a tool online called Online Redirect Checker. So before running any ads, make sure your domains are fully compliant. This is how I solved and how I deal with my permanent advertising restriction on Facebook. Right now, I'm able to run Facebook ads and things work well. If you're sick and tired of Facebook and you would like to add another advertising platform, I suggest you test YouTube ads. Right now, I have a challenge where I'll personally help you set up successful YouTube ads in five days or less. The challenge is open only for a limited number of people, so make sure you apply right now using the links below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. My name is Nico and I help entrepreneurs generate more sales using Facebook ads, YouTube ads and automated marketing systems. Thank you for watching this video, I'll talk to you soon.